I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. So it looks like maybe you searched on how to put together this dead eye threading tool and hopefully this will be of help to you. So let me show you how I put it together and some uh, modifications that I made so that you can use it on very small dead eyes because the the holders that it came with are much too wide to use it with real tiny dead eyes. So let me show you what I mean. So here it is all stained and ready to go and to adjust the size you'll just loosen and then this piece can slide back and forth getting the dead eyes closer together. Obviously there are some limitations to it. The item came with no instructions on how to assemble it and it came in several pieces. So let's see how it's put together. I removed all the parts from the placard that it came with and I've lined them up in the order that they will go and that'll make it easier so I'll leave that on screen just for a minute. Okay, you start with this bottom piece and it is one that has the measurements on it so you want the measurements face down and at the top away from me. That's part one. Second are these angular pieces and they go and rest on top of that out at the edge. Now you've got the taller angled pieces, the one with the cutout on the left, the one without the cutout on the right. Now the pieces that will actually hold the the dead eye pieces, one on the left, one on the right with the stems pointed inward. These are real fragile and they're actually a little thicker than what I would like. That's um, about an eight, eighth of an inch thick and a lot of the dead eyes that I do are on very small ships. So I purchased, I didn't know it would be just one, but I have a metal one that I will probably use because it's a lot thinner and can take smaller dead eyes. And then I'm experimenting with making a second one. But the only metal I have is aluminum, but it's nice and thin. So I may make two out of the aluminum because then I could do any size. So I'll show you that when I'm all done. But for the example, I'm going to stick with the wood. Next, you've got similar pieces that we put on before. The one with the, the uh, slot cut out on the left, the solid on the right. Your final piece with the markings, and again, they go to the top. And complete it with the angular pieces on the top. Then you'll thread through the attachment screw. However, some of these pieces will need glued. The numbered piece, these two pieces will get glued onto that. You do not want to glue any of these because this is what slides. This is kind of the completed project and uh, I just took something with a sharp tip on it and took the original wooden shapes and then traced around them after I completed that. I don't know if you can see the line, but this aluminum is thin enough that I could just take an old pair of scissors and cut that exact shape out. And you want to cut this little V before you cut this off because it's a little fragile. So that gives you this shape. Then you'll need to make a second and on the second one you'll have to cut out 
so that this can slide back and forth. So I've done all that. These portions need to be independent. This side is permanent. I could have glued this, but I could see this wearing out eventually, so I want to be able to replace it. So I put a screw here and also one through the lower part. So this is stationary. This part needs to be able to move because that gives you your distance. But this top does need secured together. Again, I don't want to glue it because if I ever have to replace that. So what I'm going to do and what I did on the other side is I put a, a small screw here and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This wood can split pretty easily so what I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole. Okay, now everything is secure. This can separate. And since I have these two screws here, it can work as a stand to kind of hold it up. I'll put some stain on it just to make it look nicer. These are five millimeter dead eyes very tiny. They're actually our smaller ones. See, I just dropped that one. With the conversion to the thin aluminum, I'm able to take that dead eye and get the aluminum right into the groove and see how that holds that. So here's the second one. is these have to go a certain direction. So basically if it were a smiley face you'd want the eyes to the outside and the nose towards the center. And that's how you want to get those dead eyes in there before you even start the string work. Mm -hmm.